Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back, Sagittarius. This is going to be a reading for all Sagittarius placements, okay? Just keep in mind, y'all, that this is a general reading. There's too many. Okay, wow. <laughs> all right, so what is the important message today, please, for Sagittarius? Okay, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So I feel like you are narrowing down your options or I feel like you're no longer confused about something. We have the Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Temperance Reverse, the Queen of Cups. Okay. Why is the Temperance in Reverse for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, the Temperance is your energy. So let's just see. Why is the Temperance in Reverse here? So we have the seven of swords. So I feel like there is a low vibrational Sagittarius. Somebody could have Sagittarius in their charts. I feel like this person is planning something here. Okay, somebody is trying to make a plan. Now with, with the two of wands being here, this don't necessarily have to be a bad plan. The thing is with the tempers being in reverse, I feel like you are not patient with a plan, Sagittarius, okay? You're not patient when it comes to something, strategizing something. You might be ready to take off right now. You're tired of waiting with the four swords, seven of cups, I mean, with the eight of cups. You're just ready to get something done. You're ready to leave, maybe. You're ready, um, you're just ready to do something. Instead of just being patient and letting something play out, okay? So I'm definitely getting you should be patient. Let's just see. What is the magician now? What's the seven of swords and the temperance reverse? I mean, the temperance reverse. Yeah, seven of swords. <clears throat> What's the seven of swords and this temperance? Okay, so we have the five of cups. Okay, so something is making you feel some type of way. So you, you feel like now is the time to do something. Now is the time to strategize something, plan something here. Okay, Sagittarius, but with the seven ones, I'm getting don't do it yet. Something is now is not the right time for something. You could be thinking about confronting something regarding. You could be thinking about confronting someone as well. This could be your friend. Um, you're thinking about walking away. You're thinking about making your final option with the seven of cups in reverse when it comes to a certain situation. But something is telling you to wait it out, okay? So let's just ask, what is this that Sagittarius? Now, first, before I ask that, why is the Seven of Cups in reverse? Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse? Okay, so we have the Knight. Yeah, you're trying to hurry up and do something. The Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles is not the right time. But with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you feel like you have all the clarity that you need, though. Okay, so this is definitely a specific reading for a specific person. Okay, I'm getting you have an angel or a force or like a ghost that's telling you to don't do something. Don't take this action. Don't do something. Don't. Maybe you're trying to move. You're trying to relocate. Just wait it out. Maybe you're trying to leave a job. Just hold on. Or So let's, let's see. What's the eight of cups? Where is Sagittarius trying to walk away? To? Okay. So you're trying to walk away from this Aquarius. You're trying to walk away maybe from um, healing something. You're done trying to heal something with someone. Um, <clears throat> okay, you're done. For some of you, I feel like this has something to do with your talent, okay? Your your talent, your gifts. This could be music, art, painting, fashion design. This could be anything. Something about you trying to rush something. You need to wait because with the star card being here, something is really good, okay? Something has the potential to really shine really bright, Sagittarius, okay? This could be something that you just about ready to give up on. Um, if if something is causing your peace, then that's, that's I understand that. It could be a situation like that. You're like, man, this shit causing my peace. This could have something to do with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries that you're ready to leave or walk away from. So now I want to ask this, like, yeah, you, you ready to go. you like, I'm, I got to go. Why do Sagittarius need to wait something out before they, you know, leave or walk away? Why do Sagittarius need to wait? Okay. The, uh, two of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. The um, Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor card. You need to wait because the opportunity is going to come from this. A job offer is going to come to, to this. Now, I'm getting two things. If you're trying to leave a job, I feel like you was ready to leave a job or you're you, you ready to leave a job or you already left because the Eight of Cups is out here. 
you left this job and now you feel like you cannot find the right job or you feel like you can't find a job that makes the right kind of money, okay? So if you already made the decision and it's just coming up that, you know, you feeling like that you left a job is the baddest choice, maybe that could be why it's coming up, then I'm going to have to see what's the next step for you. But if this is something that you are thinking about doing right now, I feel like they are telling you before you leave this job, before you leave this place, this company, make sure that you are established another place, Ace of Pentacles. Make sure you have something else already in motion because otherwise the five of cups did come out. I see a little stress here, just a tad bit. We also have the five of pentacles here as well, which represents, you know, struggle. Okay, for some of you, um, I feel like, I do feel like this has something to do with something you're trying to build, a, a, a talent, a, um, a, a business of your own, and, and you about ready to just give up. And you and now they tell you, don't give up right now. You have something that's on the way, just wait it out. Okay, Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, the Empress card here and the Emperor. Like, it's all about timing, the Will of Fortune, Sagittarius. But when you do it the wrong time, three of swords come about. You start being heartbroken through King of Wands, your energy, and stuff of that nature. So, that could be why the four of swords came out as well. You know, this is about meditating. I feel like you really need to meditate on this answer. You really need to meditate before you decide to leave this house, this job, this relationship. Um... If this is a relationship, I don't feel like that the person you're with is just all bad, okay? It just might be certain little things that it could be fixed if you look at something from a different perspective. Because I do see you are facing away from the hangman, which the hangman talks about looking at something from a different perspective, okay? If this is a relationship, maybe you're like, man, fuck this. This person ain't got the money I need. They ain't got the support, the love, or something I need or something like that, or uh, something, okay? But I'm not telling you to waste your time on a wrong person, but for this specific reason, of course, this reading, of course, this reading is not for everybody, and it's not going to fit for everybody. But whoever you are, and this resonates with you, they telling you to just wait it out, think it out, okay? Just wait. Something might end up being a wrong choice with the Two of Swords coming out, which just talks about bad decisions, tough decisions, and stuff of that nature. But it came out when I said, why do Sagittarius need to wait? Okay, you might make a bad choice because you think the grass is greener on the other side or something of that nature. And nothing gets wrong with that. And when you feel like you deserve better, I understand that. But it's just something about, I feel like you, you have options and you feel like you just, you narrowing down your option and you, and you already got your mind set on one specific place, thing, or person. Okay, but I feel like you just need to get a little more research before you just be like, okay, let me make this decision or, you know, okay. Give me some more energy here. Yeah, the two of pentacles. Yeah, I see you going back and forth trying to figure out what you should do. Should you accept something? Should you take something or not? The page of ones, the eight of swords. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this is something that's on your mind a lot, okay? You you go back and forth with this, whatever this is, a lot. Should you walk away? Should you stay? Should you leave now? Should you wait? Should you start this project now? Should you wait? Okay, should you something? Should you leave this job? Should you not? Like, something like that. But I just feel like Sagittarius, just, just be patient right now. I feel like don't be so quick to make a decision at a time like this. All right, so let's see. What is the advice here for Sagittarius? Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. This is literally evaluating, waiting, weighing your options, the same sheet. The Queen of Pentacles is also about patience and grounding yourself. So maybe you just need to ground yourself tower until it comes to you. It's going to come. The, the time, the, the time, the place, everything is going to come. But with that temperance being out, coming out in reverse, and this Knight of Swords right here, I feel like you are in a rush to do something. You're so ready. Okay, so the moon. <clears throat> okay. So the, the moon here for your the advice for you. Okay, so the ten of swords. Silent, being quiet until something comes to you. Okay, the high priestess. Yeah, just be quiet. Just don't say much. Just let the just yeah, just keep to yourself right now until the answer is going to come. Okay, just keep to yourself to this else to come before you make a decision on whatever this is, okay? All right, so, yeah, at the end, I feel like you're going to be really happy because you waited, okay? You're going to be really, really happy that you didn't accept another offer or something. You're going to be so happy about this, that you didn't go with something else. Yeah, I see you really being happy about your intuition or you're really proud that your intuition led you to the right direction or you listened, 
Okay, Sage. Yes, I feel like this reading is just telling you to don't rush something. Don't wait. Wait it out. Just be patient. Okay. All right, we just need one. Just give me one, please. Angel message for Sagittarius. And they still gave me a vibe. Damn. Okay, so we have intuition. We have forgiveness. Okay, holding on to the past hurts, preventing you from moving forward and achieving your heart desire. Let it go. Forgiveness does not mean that you condone another person's actions. Okay. All right. Um, it simply means that you are no longer willing to be a perpetual victim to a particular person or event. It says a blame is a waste of your precious energy. Okay, so maybe this is what it is. Maybe you are um you maybe you feel like you shouldn't forgive somebody the judgment is out here very interesting maybe you feel like you shouldn't give i don't know that don't even make sense that don't even that i don't know that don't make sense that could be for something totally different we have prayer right here for some y'all maybe you need to pray um i don't feel like this match it made no message story maybe it's just an additional message for the some for some of you but use your intuition at this time sagittarius and they're telling you to forgive somebody don't hold on to, to past hurt or something of that nature all right but that's what I have for you, my love. I will see you on your next video. Bye.